What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I have another vintage figure, and it's a Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, circa 1983. Mint on card is what they call it, MOC. Uh, the card is not mint, definitely, but the bubble's in great condition. The figure obviously is in great condition. Now, I did a little bit of research on this because it's made in Mexico, but it's not a Lily Letty. It's obviously not a Lily Letty, as you can see. But these figures that were made in Mexico do have Lily, or apparently are Lily Letty figures. And Kenner shipped these, I guess the material, to put them together, the card black and the, and the bubble, to the Mexico Lily Letty factory. And they put their figures into... Uh, these packages i may be wrong that's what i read if anybody can leave a comment down there anybody that's an expert um or knows way more than me can tell me what exactly happened but i know for a fact that he has and forgive my hands i washed the heck out of them with uh this orange uh granite soap because i have an industrial job i work in the steel industry i guess you could say very difficult to get that stuff out uh, from the nails and, and, and everywhere else. Anyways, look at the saber. That is the th a thick saber. That's thicker than the one that they made in the States, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and all, the, and all other countries. That is a Lily Letty saber. 100%. If you look at every Lily Letty, fi Lily Letty uh, uh, figure, even the ones that are graded in AFA, this is a boba, uh, it'll, and they say Lily Letty on them, you, and you look at the saber, they're thick like just like this. No wilting, no nothing. So what my understanding is, is that these were Lily Letty figures placed on Kenner card backs uh, and were assembled in Mexico. That's why you get the saber the way you have it. Card is not in great shape. It's got, you know, maybe a little bit of water damage. I've had this for a very long time. Uh, 77 back here. Pretty awesome the way they have all the figures. I just love the packaging. It just looks great. Looks awesome. Uh, there you go. Made in Mexico. Sold separately. And then you have a little punch. You have the little Lily Letty punch that they're synonymous with. With their figures back in the days. There's a hole right there on the O of the Return of the Jedi. I guess to let it breathe. So it doesn't get any uh, kind of like whiteness in there. Or mold or whatever you want to call it. But here, here's the uh, here's the the bubble. It is not penetrated. It's not pierced at all. But it is creased. You can see the back and the in the back that little plastic wedge that they that they had in there that they put in there. Um, and the and another thing that kind of like leads me to believe that this truly is a Lily Lady figure inside of this, inside here. And maybe I'm wrong, guys. I don't want to offend anybody. And that's a purist. And they're like, wait a minute, you you don't know what you're talking about. Because I may not, I may not know, but here's the '77 version right here, right? I have a video on on the '77 version. It's not a great video. It's just an overview. But look at the '77 version. Okay, look at his chest plate. Look at the chest plate on this made in Mexico figure. They're totally different sculpts. Look at the belt. Totally different. Look at the heads. One on the left, 1983, made in Mexico. Turn of the Jedi. The head's slightly bigger, 77, slightly smaller. I can't get under the cape because obviously it's closed. But, uh, I mean, look at that. You can, you can definitely see a difference right there. So it kind of leads me to believe that that story or the, those, those articles that I read online are true when they say that it was the Lily Lily, Lily, Letty, uh, Lily Letty figure that was placed in Kenner cardbacks because Kenner sent them these to assemble the figure inside of them. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't gone on any forums to check that out, but there, I think there's a video, and I wish I, I can remember his name. He did an extensive in-depth. He had a bunch of Vaders. He had... A bunch of uh, AFA graded Vaders and uh, other graded Vaders, and explaining the the made in Mexico, you know. And that, but that's just one video that I saw. There, I don't know if there's any other ones. Um, 
you know, like, comment, subscribe, guys, but definitely comment. If you're not going to like or subscribe, that's fine. You know, I wish you would, but if, if, if anything, comment if you know anything about what I'm talking about with the Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, the 83, uh, because that definitely is a Lily Letty Saber. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it's, it's thicker than any other ones made in any other country. And from my understanding that, that that's the reason why. Because it's a Lily Letty one. So it's a Lily Letty figure. Um, in terms of the figure itself. It's not technically one. Because of the packaging. And I know Lily, Lily Letty had their... I'm going to call it LL. They had their, uh, their badging here and up there. Um, so this definitely is not one in that regards. But anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any other, uh, any other information on this, on this, as far as, you know, the manufacturing, why it was, uh, made in Mexico, but not, or why it's a made in Mexico, but not Lily Letty, all that stuff. Other than the, the labeling, I mean, you know, there's got to be a backstory, and the backstory that I heard was, Kenner didn't like their packaging, they sent the Kenner packaging down there and said, hey, assemble these in these packages. They did and shipped them out. That's why it says made in Mexico. And it was assembled at the Lily Lady factory. So, guys, I appreciate you guys coming by. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. And as Adam the Woo would say, give it a big uh, thumbs up. I don't want to steal that from him. <laughs> He's a funny guy. But uh, just give it a thumbs up, guys. And, uh, you know, like, uh, com comment, subscribe. And definitely let me know more about this figure. And as always, guys, may the Force be with you.